Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today I have a Bath & Body Works candle haul for you. The first part of this haul is going to be single wick candles from that $5.95 single wick candle sale they had, I think it was two weeks ago. And then the second part of this haul is going to be three wick candles from last weekend when they had the uh, spend $50 get a free three wick candle. Well then, let's get the party started. So let's get into this, you guys. So the first two single wick candles I picked up, and I don't normally buy a lot of single wick candles, but I did pick up two of these Indigo Paradise with the Lighthouse. I just thought that looked really pretty. I love that Lighthouse on there, and the blue on this is really pretty as well. And mm, I really like it. It's just a sugary, juicy, kind of fruity smell. I know a lot of people say they think this is sun-washed citrus, and it, it might very well be. Um, I think it just smells a little juicier and better to me than Sunwash Citrus, but either way, it's a great candle. So I'm glad I picked up that Indigo Paradise. And then the rest of them I picked up were from the Tropical Single Wick collection they had. I just kept thinking about it, thought they look so cute. I better get them now or I'm going to regret that I didn't have them. I've always found that to be true. <laughs> So I did get the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I just love it with the giraffe and the parrots. Really, really cute there. And this one, I like the Pink Pineapple Sunrise, but this one smells pretty light in the single wick. So I, and I probably will never like these anyways, but because I really just wanted them for the labels, but that one's really cute. And then let's see here, the next one I picked up was the Mango Mai Tai, and it has... I don't know, is that a leopard or cheetah? I don't know, jaguar, <laughs> some kind of spotted cat, you guys. To the untrained eye, jaguars can be mistaken for leopards, but you can tell the difference from their circular markings called rosettes. And then some little, looks like hornbill birds over here. And your set notes for this though are fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, and sun-kissed grapefruit. And you do get that mango, and I feel like the jasmine kind of sweetens it up a little bit without making it like a floral fragrance. Uh, normally, I don't really care for mango that much, but this year I've been trying to kind of expand my candle horizons, if you will, and get more into some of these tropical scents. And I actually have been enjoying some of the mango and papaya fragrances. I really like that um, Sunset in Maui candle. I really like that one, so... This smells really good, you guys, yeah, on cold anyways. And like I said, I probably will just leave it as is and never burn it, but just thought the label looked so cute. Next one is the pink watermelon with the toucans and those flamingos. Uh, I am not a fan of pink watermelon at all, you guys. I'm not. I Most of the watermelon candles from Bath & Body Works, I'm not a fan of. Because to me, it always smells very artificial. And every time I smell the watermelon candles, they just remind me of like watermelon hubba bubba, like a watermelon chewing gum. That's what I get from these, but I love the label, so I had to pick that one up as well. And then I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut with the the zebra, and I had another another spotted cat on there and some monkeys. Uh, this one is just, you know, your classic tropical scent. Mmm. Really like the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Just nice creamy coconut scent. And then the last one I picked up was the Warm Ocean Breeze with the elephants. And it has like a little sloth there, it looks like. Really cute. This is Ocean Sandalwood, Warm Sage, Eucalyptus Zest, and Coconut. It's a very cologne kind of fragrance. I'm not a big fan of the uh, Warm Ocean Breeze, actually. It's not a bad fragrance, it's just a little too cologne for me. And yeah, you get the sandalwood, that eucalyptus. I don't really smell the coconut so much in it, but I just wanted to pick these up, like I said, for the labels. So got that one. And so the next part of this haul is from their uh, three wick candle sale when they had the get a free three wick candle. So the first one I picked up was Turquoise Waters, which Yes, it is a little cologne but to me not as cologne as the Warm Ocean Breeze. And I love this jar style. just looks like rippling water. Uh, this is your Coastal Wave Sparkling Bergamot and Sun-Drenched Musk. 
So it's a really fresh fragrance. I feel like they took sun-drenched linen and kind of combined it with some kind of ocean, fresh ocean air smell. So I really like this one. It's not nearly as cologne smelling to me as the warm ocean breeze. So I like this far better for myself. And every once in a while I burn this. I don't burn turquoise waters too often, but every now and then I like it. And the next one I picked up was the Mahogany Vanilla. This jar style just looks really gloomy to me, you guys. It's kind of it's kind of what Cleveland has looked like the past few days. The sun has just now been popping out like the last hour. So I do apologize if the lighting is a little wonky in this video because the sun is going in and out of the clouds right now. But yeah, this looks kind of gloomy to me. This is your warm vanilla, fresh bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. And... I like this one. I love the vanilla. I actually like the sandalwood in this because it's a sweeter sandalwood. I have um, I have a love-hate relationship with sandalwood. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I can't stand it. So in this candle, I feel like it works. And this is a, a good throwing candle. Anytime you see that mahogany in the label, you typically get a pretty strong candle. And I've heard mahogany vanilla is actually coming back for the summer. So We'll have to see what they come out with in that for the summer. Uh, the next one I picked up was the Fresh Amalfi Lemon. I love this one. It's lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedarwood citrus. I love that lemon in there. It just smells so fresh and clean to me. Mmm, it smells so fresh. So clean. But not like, like a house cleaner. Like sometimes a lemon can smell like, like, like a kitchen cleaner or something. Mm. This one just smells so summery to me and bright and fresh. So really like this, how it smells on cold. And then the next one I got, you guys, <laughs> I got a Tiki Beach in this green frosted glass jar style. I mean, these have been around forever since like, what, candle day last year, right? So this is your warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. And, you know, typically Tiki Beach is kind of a lighter throwing candle in my opinion, but I do like the scent. And I definitely like the tropical tiki beach they did this year in that tropical collection with the gold uh, palm fronds and uh, toucans. But I picked this up specifically for this green because I thought this would look really good in the background when I decorate next year for St. Patrick's Day or um, even like Christmas time this, you know, coming up this year. I thought that would work well in the background, just this green. So that is literally why I bought this candle, you guys. <laughs> Just thinking ahead. And then the last candle I picked up was this watermelon and wild mint. I finally got around to picking one of these up. And like I said, I'm not big on watermelon at all, uh, usually because it smells so artificial. This one is wild watermelon, spearmint leaves, and crisp cucumber. So in this, I like it because the watermelon has that spearmint and cucumber mixed in there. So it's not just the watermelon. And it makes the watermelon not smell so artificial to me. I like that there's spearmint in this. And that cucumber, it just gives it kind of a fresh, summery feel to it. Real summery with that cucumber mixed in. So I actually like how this smells on cold. And then the lid is just kind of like this um, waffle weave kind of design there going on. So finally picked up the watermelon and wild mint, you guys. So that is the candle haul. Not a big haul, you guys. Uh, I'm just waiting for the summer one candle releases, you know, which should be out in the next few weeks. So excited for summer candles, you guys. I love the summertime at Bath & Body Works with all their candles and, of course, summer sass just around the corner. I think that's going to be probably, what, June 9th around there? I am so excited! I think I'm going to explode! <laughs> Super excited for that. So please leave comments down below if you have any of these candles and what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.